Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's been a beautiful day here on the farm. We are planting trees today. And uh, we started this morning and it's after lunch now. It's about two o'clock and we've already planted over a thousand trees. And I left my camera in the bakery and just started working. And I was like, man, I better pick up my camera and film something today if I want to make a video. Anyways, we are getting it done. We have, I'd say another 500 left and we are done. We got Crimson Crisp going in the ground right now. We got the majority of the Ever Crisp. We planted all the Ludacris and the Sweet Maya this morning. I got some Granny Smiths back here in the crate. We have another 400 Ever Crisp to do. And I think that's it. So, um, let's get to it. So over here, we have uh, a tree from two different nurseries. The majority of the trees came from Waffler's Nursery, Adam, New York. And fun fact, one of their sons, Kyle, he uh, started a YouTube channel as well. So if you guys wanna check out their channel and their operation, they do about 500 acres of commercial apples and of course all the nursery stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to his YouTube stuff down in my description box. Let's go ahead and check him out. And the majority of our peaches and some apple trees came from um, uh, Vaughn Nursery out of Tennessee. So I'm gonna go ahead and water those trees up real quick, get them roots going. They've been sitting in our cooler for a couple weeks now, so you know, I've been keeping keeping the roots pretty moist, keeping everything nicely, but since it's a hot day outside, I want to get these roots a little moist here, and then we'll be good to go. Right now, the guys are working on Crim Crimson Crisp on G935, and uh, we are going pretty quickly here. Three rows already done. We only have 400 of these in total, so it's not too bad, but they're getting it done. So we have Moses out here today. He's gonna, what's up Mo? So uh, the way I'm planting these and the way I planted the Everchris up there in block one is we have to get these for cross pollination, making sure that they uh, cross pollinate. So I'm planting three rows of these and then I plant a row of a different variety. So the row I had up front was Golden Delicious and I was pretty fortunate when I called up uh, Vaughn to pick up their trees to, to call, uh, order in our peach trees. I asked, asked them about their uh, apples and uh, they only had 100 Golden Delicious and 100 Granny Smith left. So I was like, hey, I'll take them both, 100 each. So um, that's what I'm using for cross pollinators, of course, and then we're gonna harvest the fruit off them as well. But gotta make sure you get them, plant multiple varieties so that they uh, will cross pollinate so that you will have fruit on them. But So since we have super rocky soil, we uh, don't use a tree planter, so we wanna go ahead and auger out all the trees. The good first six inches or so is decent, and then once you get down below that, it gets pretty rough. There's still a lot of rocks in between there, but Brother Isaac, he's tilling up the land there. So we go ahead and use this for the top soil. So this is nice, soft, fluffy soil here. Like I said, three, four inches is nice. Some places six, seven, and then it gets into the rock. So we like to plant our trees with the graft unions. Uh, the graft unions we want at least six eight inches above ground so these guys are doing really good of doing that and these are crimson crisp like i mentioned on g935 and geneva 935 is really good for making side branches for a high density system these work really well the majority of the ever crisp i mean all of the ever crisp are on 41 geneva 41 so you know that's um they don't put as many side branches as the 935 935 is a little more vigorous about 35 to 40 percent of a standard apple tree uh, i talked to the guys from wafflers and they said that um crimson crisp is a really weak growing apple it's a it's a lot weaker than even honey crisp and honey crisp are, is a really weak grown apple so you know this on a high density system will work really well but if you put a more vigorous variety like uh liberty is a really vigorous variety on a g935 it's going to grow you a 14 15 foot tall tree so that's why root stocks and the scions are very very important together because then you realize you know which varieties work better than the others and which scions work great so uh yeah that's the beauty of growing apples righty so these came from vaughn nursery tennessee and uh, they bundle them up into tens so i'm going to go ahead and uh cut off the thing there the strings there and then we're gonna go ahead and start planting these here pretty quick like i said these are granny smith on 41 as well and the reason we plant geneva varieties geneva 
rootstocks is because they're resistant to fire bite so you won't have any fire bite issues in the soil but that's the only thing and they're they seem to work really nice in this area you know the only thing i'll say about vaughn nursery and i don't blame them they are a peach nursery but they uh they don't graft the the trees as tall as wafflers i mean wafflers they majority they only do apples and some pears but i mean really healthy trees really nice trees as well but you know we just got to be careful to um plant them two to three inches above ground on these if we have the root stock we plant them a little higher but overall it's not too bad so these are the crimson crisp on 935 they have a very fibrous nice root system as you can tell the grafting is really high from wafflers they do a very very nice job with their trees so we had 400 crimsons in here so we're gonna get 270 no nine times three is 270 yeah so 270 here get that rotor grain smith finish these off and finish off the ever crisp and we should be good to go for today so working on the last ever crisp of the day the guys are just getting done with the uh, crimson crisp there they got 30 trees and they were done so we have one two three four four more rows out here and these will be going in ever crisp of course we have that row of fuji there most of the adult orchard is flowering right now, so we sh these should have been done a couple weeks ago, but we were just busy. But, you know, 12th of September, the 12th of September, 12th of April isn't too late either. So, going to slowly get these done, finished up, and then we will be done with 1,800 apple trees for the day. So, not too bad. All hand planted, one tree at a time. That's why we can do it. Alrighty, also, this is the last of the ever crisp here. We are going to go ahead and set these out here for the guys to finish up. We've been out here for uh, 9, 10 hours already, so time to get done with these 1800. We're going to be on our way, so I might have to call up Wafflers and see if they have any more trees so we can go ahead and finish this row. We've got like 20 trees left. If not, next year is another year. But just like this, I set them out and the guys come from behind. We got them done, plant them nicely, just like that. Just joking.